Hey guys, I want to show you how to convert your K3 16 millimeter into Super 16. Uh, quick disclaimer, I am not a professional. I do not claim to be a professional, so do this at your own discretion. So obviously you have to remove these uh, six screws right there all along once you do that. So before you do all that, there is a little uh, little guard, or I'm not actually too sure what it is, but it has two little screws right here. It's two metal pieces. Take that off. And I also, this has no loop form formers, and I'll show you how to take that off as well. So once you have all your screws off in this piece, you want to detach this little plastic thing, put that to the side, and then on this guy right here, there are two screws. So there's one right there, and then there's one right there. You don't want to you don't want to take it all out. You just want to unloosen it. So once you've unloosened this and taken this little thing out, I'm just going to pop her off, kind of walk her out. There she goes, and this is the inside of the K3. Not too shabby. So this is the back of it. So notice this little uh, this little bolt right here, this little washer. That will will be right there whenever you unmove it. And whenever you go to put it on, you need to put it back here before you close it all up. So then with that played out, and it, just be aware of that washer, if we look over here, here's the gate. This is a 16 millimeter gate, and I have a super 16 that I'm gonna convert it to. So if you just look, it's just five simple screws to take out. So just a note, something for you to think about, even though with these five screws, they seem pretty accessible, I myself, and I would suggest you use little ma magnetic precision screwdrivers because they would just, you know, they're, they're gonna help you out. So not, you don't have to fish around if anything falls in there. All right, here's the original 16 millimeter gate off. Here is the Super 16 that will replace it. And then this is what it kind of looks like bare bones. So just three screws up top and two on bottom. All right, when you're done with that, uh, you're pretty much good to close her back up. Uh, just make sure again, like I said, this little washer will be right here. You need to take that off of there and then put it back on here. So this is the orientation. You see the way it goes. All right, that's very important. All right, so once you put that in, one thing to keep in mind is uh, the pull down claw. So I'd come in at this angle and sit it down nice and tight. Uh, make sure that when it's in there, it's not moving around, give it a good crank. Uh, and then make sure this guy right here is moving because if it's not, you're gonna have to restart the process all over again, make sure it's moving. Little pro tip, anytime you're loading or doing any kind of mechanics underneath it and you need to check the gate or whatever, uh, make sure you're at eight frames because everything will move slower and not rapidly and tear up your fingers. All right, after this is nice and seated, it's not moving, uh, check to make sure that this is moving right here. So next we're gonna want to, so you can, there's the screws and we're gonna wanna screw them back in. All right, so the key to this is you're gonna wanna move these out of the way. And there's little teeth at the bottom. Let's see if we can see them. Uh, there's a little teeth down here. And whenever these are all back in, and whenever you run it without film, you can even see it kind of moving like that. And then that. So I, I think I have this great. I'm going to test it with, with some junk film that I have laying around. That is a good way to test to make sure everything runs properly, everything runs smoothly. Right. After you've ran some junk film into here and everything seems good, go ahead and put the screws back in, put this little guy back in and the pressure plate, and then, uh, yeah, go shoot some film.